Hello and welcome to Junk Drawer Magic, where we teach you- Akira, we have no time. We have to do homework. No tricks, no tutorials. Homework is due before winter break. Who's gonna care if you don't finish your homework? Uh, let me think. My teachers, my parents, that voice in my head that says, Walker, you need to do better. Don't disappoint me. Um, okay. Well, what if I told you that I could finish all of our homework with magic? I'm listening. But the voice in my head is saying, Walker, don't listen. Magic is cheating. We'll talk about your voice later. For now, I'll just grab one of these blank sheets of homework and give it a tear. Well, here I know. Oh, all right, don't do it again. Oh, you did it again. This is okay. I can just get some tape and I can fix this. I, oh, it's unfixable now. You are lucky that I make digital scans of all my homework. Just to be safe. Well, now that the homework is completely destroyed, all I have to do is fold the pieces back together while saying a magic spell. Slow and steady, rip it neatly, till the homework's filled completely. Wait, what? How did you do that? Pretty cool trick, right? And we'll show you how to do it right now. Let's go to the junk drawer. For this trick, you'll need two sheets of homework, one finished and one blank, a blank piece of paper, tape, double-sided tape, and scissors. Start by folding the finished homework in half, like this. Then fold the top half down, flip the paper, and fold the other half down. Your paper should now look like a W. Next, fold it into a Z shape, like this. Now, rotate the square so that this flap is on the top left corner. Use a Sharpie to draw a dot on this top left corner and this top right corner. Now, cut a rectangle from the bottom corner of your blank piece of paper. It should be a little smaller than your folded up homework. Then, tape this rectangle to your folded homework like this. You now have your gimmick, the folded homework with a secret pocket. Now add double-sided tape to the back of the gimmick. Finally, stick the gimmick to the back of the blank homework sheet like this. That's all the prep, now for the trick. Start by showing your blank sheet of homework. Rip off a long strip that's the same width as the gimmick. Place it in front like this. Then rip off another long strip. Place it in front as well. Now rotate the three strips and rip the paper next to the gimmick. Bring those pieces in front and rip it again. Then repeat this one more time. You should now have a bunch of square pieces in front of your gimmick. Separate your two piles so that the ripped pieces are in one hand and your gimmick is in the other. But the gimmick will look like a pile of ripped pieces. Now put the ripped pieces behind the gimmick. Fold the ripped pieces in half, then fold them in half again. Now secretly push all of your pieces inside the pocket, but act like you're magically squeezing the paper back together. Now. Pinch the two dots that you drew on the gimmick. Finally, pull the dots away from each other to reveal your completed homework. And that's all there is to it. I give that trick an A+.
thanks for watching Junk Drawer Magic. And ah, done. Whew, I finally finished all my homework. And no magic necessary, except for good old fashioned brain power. Walker, all of these answers are wrong. What? But Ralph gave me all the answers. Who? The voice in my head. Hi, Akira. I'm Ralph. Do better. Ah! Click here to watch more junk drawer magic. And click here to see me turn this orange into an apple. Wait, I wasn't ready yet.